I have just been editing a video and I thought I'll uh, I'll do this quick YouTube live just to um, to tell you about something I've been actually uh, meaning to do a video about which is this um, new fantastic Dior Sauvage Dave hello I've got Dior Sauvage he says uh, but it, it, mm, show live but it, it uh, removes my comments uh, I think Dave what you said um, you said about that you had one but I don't know whether you've actually used it or, or or what do you think about it so let me know in the comments here what do you think about this Dior um, I got I picked this up uh, maybe four days ago it's it's very interesting hi Austin Good to see you. Uh, what this is, is is a completely mind-blowing situation. Ah, yeah, okay. W uh, David is saying that he's got it and women sniff him all day long. Now, I, I, uh, I've asked uh, the shop assistant about this because obviously I, I've, I've seen a few YouTubers, YouTubers doing reviews about this. And then um, I've asked the shop assistant and she said to me that uh, Dior has actually, um, as one of the first manufacturers, um, what they've done is they put, um, they put basically a perfume um, into this deodorant-looking-like box. You know, it looks like it feels, you know, feels like deodorant. Like it looks, it feels like deodorant. So how this is a, a fully fledged perfume? Like this is, as David rightly put, so. A, a, a cheek magnet, you know, um, unbelievable what they did. Basically, that is under pressure, so it works and feels like a spray, like some sort of deodorant. Yet it is, oh my god, fantastically smelling perfume. Now, what they also did, and I've actually found out on reading on forums, this bottle is around eighty grams, I think, so eighty milliliters, right, something like that. Well, it says 100 on it, but the cap itself, it's actually 20 grams. And if you actually feel that cap, it looks heavy, which is interesting how they did it and why they did that. Because if you just put those two out, like all of a sudden this feels now more or less the same as this because it's been partially used. The downside, of course, of, of, of having it packaged like that is that you cannot see how much you've got left. And I think that I would definitely say that as a downside to it because, you know, I, I, I think I'm maybe maybe third left here. I don't know. No idea. Now it's, it feels even less. Um, but it's a, this particular um, sort of very cool spray cost around, I think, £45. I picked it up for £42.95 on the airport going to... Um, uh, Liverpool Airport going somewhere I can't remember where I was going and basically what happens to it is um, the lady told me oh, I was the best price you can get and I was actually quickly looking online and that was actually the best price I could get at that time so I looked today on, on the fragrance shop and all the manufacturers or all the sellers of this and what they had um and um, what they had is is they had it around sort of 54 56 pounds austin is asking how would i describe the smell now i'm not very good at this uh, but um i would say dave how would you describe this i would describe this as um sort of kind of a a, a more sweet a sour, um, sort of taste to it you know what it it I've, I did a video with um, another channel on YouTube. If you don't know, you, you won't know. But I've done a video about fragrances uh, from Austin, our our <laughs> our uh, our friend that actually reviews uh, reviews fragrances on on his YouTube channel. And basically, I what I did as well. I've done some samples to him uh, and sort of sort of smell it. But with this one, is you can. I tell you what it reminds me of because I think it's easier rather than trying to um, think about all the sort of different tastes and smells of it. 
it reminds me of a man, of a sort of grown up, strong man that I could sniff all day. Also, there is a guy at our gym that wears this a lot and he's monster. So I think that reminds me of him slightly as well. But it's, um, it's pretty cool. I think if you thinking about the next big thing in terms of the fragrances, go and do it. <laughs> I had two men ask to bottle me and take me home, says David. Um, David says it smells like walking porn. Um, yes. Interesting. A new concept from Dior. And I don't know whether you'll be able to see this, but I'll try to spray that for you. So this is the sort of end bit, right? So this is a spray. I don't know whether you're going to see this, but it's basically create that mist of you, see, you barely see, but on that bottle you can see the sort of mist. I caught some of that mist. Oh. The room smells amazing right now. So this is Dior Sauvage. So it creates that sort of mist and um, you sort of spray it onto your body, which is another great thing. I was always spraying my other perfumes, like I've got Garcon as well, which uh, I think I got as a present uh, from my wife. And basically I would usually spray, you know, one, two, three, maybe that's it. Um, exactly, but David says, says that he sprays on his belly. And now with this, I'm doing the same. I'm actually spraying it like that on me. And I uh, and I was doing some research online, like how much is a second of pss, of a spray? Uh, and apparently it's like four, uh, you know, normal pimps. So so if you just go for a second like that, you're going to be smelling amazing. Um, and I, that's one of um, the smells that actually last all day which is also very very intriguing to me um, i'm usually uh, up for something that smells all day warmth of your tummy expels this scent says expert david in that he pulls women on that so dave i think you should uh, tell us all about it how it works and, and what do you do to get that those women you know so that was yeah, he says that his Tom Ford's last well as well. I've actually reviewed Tom Ford, uh, one of the uh, sort of scents that um, um, the sort of gentleman's uh, journey channel gave me to smell. And it, it wasn't that nice. I mean, it was nice, but, it, you know, we had like Creed um, and other nice smells there as well. And I absolutely agree with David. You have to smell well, you have to dress well in order to uh, to be gentle. But actually, Dave is one of the guys I would like to do a video with. And you know we're supposed to do a video pretty soon, so I don't know what happened. But it didn't, um, you know, we didn't agree on it. So uh, make sure maybe we can um, we can do it this week if possible. It'll be, it'll be a fun video if we can do it, you know. Um, now, anything else? Any other questions you may have? Fire it away. Um, I quickly want to show what else, and we will, we, I, I quickly want to show the other smell that I'm looking at buying very, very soon. Hold on. So I had to, I had to, I had to go and bring my laptop with me because what I have is I've actually had it on, uh, on my Amazon, um, lists. Does it stick your balls? Well, the video or the smell. Um, right, your lists. Okay, some 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 things from. Where's where's my smell? Where's my smell? Um, ah, right. I've got it. The spray. No, it doesn't. Well, I don't know. How would I know? <laughs> the one that I was looking at was this. is the Versace Eros. I had some very good reviews on this. I've been looking and searching and found this um, online. It is actually around sort of £50, which is, um, you know, a, a surprise um, sort of price for, for these kind of um, uh, levels of, of fragrances. But... Um, sort of 30, uh, sort of 45, 50 pounds is probably okay for 100 mil. 
Um, and apparently this is also a party animal. So if you um, you know if you're looking for something that it's um, that it's decent, maybe that's the one to try. You can see here that 50 mil costs 33.90 on Prime here on Amazon. So maybe I'll give that a go as well. Maybe that's going to be my next one. 50 mil. It's a tiny one. You can always um, sort of. Uh, you know be happy with it you know if you don't like the smell exactly you can always sort of quickly use it and and get rid of it you know and forgot about it so so it's not a big problem All right last thing um last but not least i've just completed a, another video i'm going to be probably posting that tomorrow night and um, it's all about 10 reasons why you should wear a bow tie and i sing and i dance in this video and I tell funny stories. So um, if you watching this now or watching the replay of this live, uh, uh, for sure, no doubt, you will very soon see 10 reasons why you should wear a bow tie. Um, Tom Ford for men is what David has. I can't remember which one I reviewed on my, on, on my channel, um, but anyhow. I'll link that up in the description of this particular live video. Stay well, have a good week. Uh, it was bank holiday weekend here in the UK, um, but we back on to it tomorrow. So I'll, um, you know, stay put, stay stylish. See you soon.